Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how to use filters in your HubSpot CRM system. So once you log into your HubSpot CRM system of course you'll come to the home screen. Now in order to use and create filters inside of the HubSpot CRM system we can either do this on the deals objects, the contacts objects or any other object but I'm, in this instance I'm going to demonstrate how to do it on the contacts object. So go to the top left hand corner where it says contacts, use that drop down menu and then go to the contacts object. Now from here we can see all of our contacts inside of the HubSpot CRM system. And let's say we now want to filter and then save this particular filter so we can use it in the future. What we need to do is use the more filters button on the right hand side here and just press that. And we'll pre be presented with all the properties inside of each, um, in, inside of each object. Now this allows us to search for each property, so let's say first name for example. We can then select that and then we can say what we'd like to know or what we'd like to set the filter to be. So contains exactly, doesn't contain exactly, is known, is unknown. So in this instance I'm going to say it contains exactly, I'm then going to add the value Brian. So I'm saying that the first name must be equal to Brian and then we can apply this filter. And then once we've applied that filter, we can then add additional filters. So we can then press and, and then we can say last name contains exactly, doesn't contain exactly, is known, is unknown. And then I'm going to set the last name to Halligan, which is that contact on the left hand side there in case you haven't already guessed. And then I'll just press apply filter. I'm going to press and again just to demonstrate that all of the properties inside of the contacts object are accessible and then we can distinguish using these filters um, different contacts that we would like to see. We can also do this for deal information if they're associated with any deals and the sales properties as well. So these are really useful tools for breaking down <clears throat> different contacts inside of our HubSpot CRM system and we can make as many of these different filters as we'd like. So I want to press the back and then now, as you can see, this filter has been applied. So I'm going to exit out of here. And then what I'd like to do now <clears throat> is save this particular filter. And in order to do so, we just need to press the Save View button on the right hand side here. Press Save as New. And then we need to give it a name. So I'm going to call this Test View. And then we can decide whether we'd like to share it with everyone. My team, which is unfortunately not available because this is the free version of HubSpot or privately, but I'm gonna share it with everyone and then just press the save button. So that view has now been created and as you can see here at the top left, we have our new view. So if you go over back to all contacts, go to the filters button, we can remove these different filters by pressing the uh, delete button on the right hand side. And as we can see here, we now can see all of our contacts, but if we go back to our save view, which was a test view, that filter is still applied and we can see all the, um, all the contacts that match our filter criteria. Now, if we'd like to edit our filter, all we need to do is press more filters. We can press the and button. We, another example is gonna be last contacted is unknown. I'm gonna apply that filter again, exit out, and then we just press save view. Now in this instance, we can either press save it as a new filter or view, we could either overwrite our existing settings and save it as the test view, or we could just reset if we'd like to. And that is how to use views, uh, that is how to use filters and views inside of your HubSpot CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained how to use filters in your HubSpot CRM system. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.